Today I'm going to show you how to use our HGLM package for estimating heritability in a small example animal population. Um, you see here is my terminal window on my Macintosh computer and you can do this also in R console which is the same. Uh, I like using R from terminal. So here is my working directory already so I can just have a look at what's in the folder. I have one R data file which contains my data. And R data is the binary format for R that you can load directly in R. Well, the file name is sheepbl, which stands for um, body length of a sheep population. Okay, I start my R like that. Um, there's a warning message because I did something stupid for my R setup, but which doesn't really matter. Um, first of all, we load the data like that. And you see in my working directory, I have three objects. First one, GBL, is the genomic kinship that I already create, created for this particular population. And BL is body length phenotype vector for the uh, individuals. And we have sex as a fixed fact that we want to include. So if you look at the dimension of genomic kinship, 318 individuals, square matrix. Um, body length, 318 values with some missing values at the end and sex. One stands for male and two stands for female. Um, first let's check the genomic kinship. What does it look like? We don't have to do this, I just want to show you how to do that. Um, let's do it using the level plot in the lattice package, which is clear. Uh, it's pretty big. I'm going to shrink down the size to make it fit into our recording area. Yes. You see, this is the genomic kinship pattern of the 318 individuals, and we have three subpopulation in this um, particular data set. Alright. Okay, in order to fit correlated random effects in HGLM, the first thing you need to do is to Shalaski decompose the kinship or relationship matrix for the random effects. And remember, you need to transpose it to make it um, correct for as an instance matrix for the random effect. So we do Shalaski composition for G. Now we have the same dimension of L as G, where L, L transpose gives G, this genomic kinship. Um, we have missing values in, in the response vector. It should be removed before we feed HGLM. Uh, the way I usually do is to find the indices of the missing values, which can be done by using which. Um, like that. So these are the missing value indices. Now we can feed our model. So, well, by default, we feed model like this. Um, HLM I'm going to use the matrix input format. So we can use both um, formula type input or matrix input directly in this package. So using matrix format, we have y vector. It should be BL. Remove the main missing values like this. The fixed effect design matrix X should be, uh, you can create matrix directly like this. Model matrix gives you um, a design matrix with, with an intercept column and sex. And we have instance matrix for the random effects. That, in this case, it should be L. 
So we need to remove those rows um, that's missing. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to lo load. It should have. Remember to load your package before using it. All right. Now the model is fitted. Um, or you can use summary of this model. It gives you a lot of stuff uh, for the estimation. But in this particular example, I'm not going to describe everything here. We just want a heritability estimate, which is the variance component for the random effect divided by the variance component for the random effect plus the variance component for the fixed fat like this. And we have the value, which is 38% heritability. But this value is actually not correct because genomic kinship is usually sparse and the convergence criterion by default if you look at the help of HLM is 10 raised to the power of minus 4 which is not usually enough for um, uh, genomic kinship fitting so what we should do is to refit the model by adding the convergence criterion Reset it to let's say 10 raised to the power of minus 8. It should be enough. It takes longer, but not very long. Okay, now we have the model refitted. Um, the heritability value becomes 34%. Uh, this should be correct in this case. Okay, so here is how you fit um, the genomic kinship for heritability or an animal model using HLM. Thanks.